So this is just a short video to showcase some of the features in the test patch for PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds. First off, you can see in the top no, right the new kill feed, which is oh, toggleable if you go into settings and gameplay. Um, I think it's much cleaner. It shows who kills who, yeah. um, the weapon. So if you take a quick I glance, you can see, say, you can see someone's got an AWM or someone's got a Grozer without having to read through the text. And I think the pictures are faster to process, as well as having that headshot icon, as you can see. Um, some other features I'll be showcasing, which are the, the vehicle sounds, as well as differences with the scopes. The bullet drop is a bit harder to showcase because we didn't have enough time to fully dive into the guns, but let's get into some of the clips. So this clip is just me showcasing the new 8x variable zoom scope. The 15x is also variable zoom and also some of the vaulting. 8x can go from about 3 times zoom to 8 times, and the 15x can go from 4 times zoom till to 15 times. Oh, you got an uh, AR for you if you want. Oh my god, the zoom. I've got M16. Oh, oh me neither. Wait, I see that's the zoom, and then this is the vaulting. So it breaks the window so you hear the sound. That's very nice. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. That sounds pretty epic. Where are we going? Just to towards seventy. Yeah. The breaking sounds really weird as well. You can hear it changing gears as well on the car and mm -hmm. the UAC. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a trigger. Listen to the braking when you can. Let's like the sharp say... braking. <laughs> so on top of the braking sounds, you can also hear the gear shifting in the Dacia and the UAC. It sound very different. The Dacia is really, really quiet. It's a very nice, quiet vehicle. Um, also, the vehicle physics change, so I'm going to do a quick brake test here, you'll see. See, it just, it turns quite abruptly. Oh, oh fuck me, I hit an invisible wall. What the fuck? My game crashed. I just saw you spin out of control. I might be able to get you. Speed oh, fuck me, I hit an invisible wall. What the fuck? My game crashed. So as you just heard, the new motorbike sounds a bit like a Formula One car, which is interesting, I guess. Um, the way it handles is quite, it's, it's, I, think, I think it's better. It bounces a bit more when you land to jump, but um, when you're leaning forwards or sideways, the lean affects it a lot more. So instead of being able to do one backflip, you can almost definitely do two backflips. You can actually do front flips. Obviously with a test build, there's going to be some bugs, such as the one that I showcased with Niels hitting invisible with the bike. Here's a, another funny one with the vaulting. Just pulling myself up the stairs. Oh, the circle's decent. Oh, what the fucking... Uh, hello? What the hell? Nice lag. <laughs> hmm? Oh, I just got the dumbest lag ever. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Here's some things Reddit found, such as a new jet ski model, which someone data mined. Uh, it looks pretty cool. People have been suggesting it for a while. Nice second... Water vehicle, not only seats, obviously looks like it has one or two seats. Um, and also, this is the new blue zone. The hex pattern is very easy visible. You can actually see through the blue zone. Uh, also, the, the new area, this is north of Mansion. It's a forest area with a pond. It's actually really cool to drive through. There's a path which goes to the gates of the mansion. The thing I'm most excited for, however, is this. Look at this. 762 DP28. Maybe a crate gun, maybe a place for the M249. Oh, well, they also made the uh, rivers deeper. Not the biggest change, maybe it's to do with the new bullet penetration. Because if, if you're uh, further underwater, then your bullet might do less damage, so they made the rivers deeper. Also, it solves that little bug with the land rivers where you can just take the UAZ 
and they'd use it as a kind of submarine. <laughs> they also change how the smokes work. So before the smoke used to just billow in one direction, didn't really cover much, and I found it a bit thin. Um, and now what they've done to the smokes is they made them thicker, they, they billow out in an equal area, so it's around a center mass where you throw it. If you have a look here, that's a really good example. One dynamic which I find really interesting is how you can escape from situations using the vaulting. Obviously you could with the crouch jumping, but some windows which weren't accessible are now accessible, such as the really tall thin ones. And the fact that all players can use it is quite interesting, although it removes the advantage. Here I hear the window breaking, see him, and manage to react in time. Also, these thin windows here, the ones I was talking about, being able to jump through them and just the being so unexpected on someone down below because it's such a new mechanic. Oh, people will get used to it, but it's play. <laughs> I don't know, I just find it hilarious. It's so stupid. In terms of the bullet drop, they said that up to about 300 meters assault rifle should be accurate, but then past that is where only the high velocity ones will be accurate. Um, but the, the DMRs and the snipers, I think up to 400, they're still pretty accurate without much bullet drop. Uh, in the change notes, they said that it was adding a exponential decrease to bullet velocity over time. So as you shoot a bullet, this bullet velocity will decrease exponentially for the farther you hit it, and so it might take longer for a shot to reach its target area. As you can see here with the SKS though, it seems pretty accurate. This is that distance about a couple hundred meters. So it's not really too much to worry about apart from those long shots, 400, 500, 600 meters. Another guy in that event. Overall, what are my thoughts on the patch? New vehicle sounds great. I don't think I've showcased the buggy sound in here, but it sounds a bit like a really, really American muscle chopper. Great sound, gets rid of that annoying whiny sound. Bike sounds maybe a bit over the top, Formula One car, a bit much. Um, the Dacia sounds nice, UZ sounds nice. Maybe they might change the boat sound a little bit because it is quite loud. They have turned down the volume. One other thing I've noticed, the handling on the vehicles is very very enjoyable kill for the top right wasn't necessary but they added it variable zoom on the 8x and the 15x makes them so much more valuable before finding an 8x just meant the burden because you'd have to switch between that and a 4x or a red dot the bullet changes i can't really say much about it i don't know very much because i haven't had a lot of time to test it the area north of mansion it's just it's just a foresty area i guess i guess it gets rid of flat land makes the uh, terrain more interesting and that's, that's the main changes really the vaulting i do appreciate it that kind of window you can't go through but anything where there's a nice big open place which isn't blocked by wood or bars you can get through and i feel it's quite good it's got rid of some of the cheaty crouch jump spaces you can get to it does get rid of that element of surprise but on the whole the game runs so yeah, much better it's at least 30 to 40 frames improvement over the previous patch and just just the way it runs and the fact that everyone's on a level playing field, I quite enjoy it. And I'm looking forward yeah, to what's going to happen with 1.0 and the desert map just and also the, the final ballistics overhaul, which is to do with the bullet penetration in water, through bits of wood, and just general tweaks. So overall, great patch. Good job, Blue Hole. Looking forward to what they come up with in the future.